die by it. So whether it's a balanced team in terms of defending, rebound, take care of the ball, and being good offensively, or a balanced offense where you get an inside-outside attack. But I just think the, the games and, and the spacing, if you have good shooting but no spacing, it's going to be easy to cover. So I think you have a combination of those things. You gotta, and then it's the different guys you could do. It's usually, you know, before you have one or two guys who can shoot it. Now you're getting that from different positions from different guys. It becomes that much more of a tough cover. You know, it used to be, I just remember, you know, you're, you're watching guys, can a guard, let's say a guard, you're asking, can he defend one-on-one, -on -one? or a big, can he defend the post one-on-one. -on -one? Now it's, can a guard defend one-on-one, -on -one? can he defend a ball screen one-on-one. -on -one? And the same thing with a, a big, can he, you know, he can't just sit in the paint anymore, he's going to be put out on the floor, the uh, bigs will be out on the floor, just spreading the floor a lot, so. I think the combination of those things have made that this a unique cover, and you definitely need to incorporate it into what you do. He is at, and I said after the game, he's at the forefront of what we just talked about. You know, he is, you know, when you have a guy like that, who, you know, with the, the change in the post player or four man, he's a four man, he's a stretch four, he can play some three, and he's got a bright future ahead of him because I think he's just coming into his own. He's kind of been a late bloomer in terms of getting reps at this level, and you can see the confidence coming through. But, you know, we talk about, you know, he's a great shooter and he's a great passer. I think those are two underrated qualities, and he's a great teammate, and he's incredibly unselfish. Look at his percentages across the board. I mean, in league play, or even most of this year, he's at 50% from the field. He's over 40 from three, he's 80 from the line. He's got a high assist return ratio. He's very unselfish. He's a guy who can jack threes like we talked about, but he doesn't. You know, he's found a great love for the game. He loves playing in this style. I think he loves playing for this program and this university and being in Hawaii. But uh, he's so unselfish, and that's been contagious for our team. So. When people talk about our team being able to shoot, pass, play unselfishly, I think it started with him and I think it's become contagious and I'm really appreciative of that. And I'm really proud that he's played aggressively because it's fun to watch from afar. Yeah.